What is up everybody, it's Steady Chaos. Can we just talk about for a second what we just witnessed today with the unveiling of the 3070, 3080, and 3090 GPUs? Oh my God, um, that 3090, it's not small, it's not small. Uh, and if any of you have seen any of my videos on my channel before, you know that I recently bought a brand new build from iBuyPower. It's a 3950X and 2080 Super, but it's in a mid-size chassis. And so I'm thinking to myself, if I even wanted a 3090 right now, could I fit that thing in my chassis? I mean, holy good God. Let us take a moment to look at the sheer the size of this 3090. I mean, this thing needs to go on an F and diet. This thing is fat. Uh, let's see, I got, <sighs> look at that thing, look at it. All right. What? what? Well, what? I mean, the thing is so goddamn heavy, his fingers are turning like white trying to stabilize it. It like, it looks like it takes up half of his midsection. This thing is huge, it's gargantuan, and that's not the worst of it. Yes, it's obviously extremely long lengthwise. That's what she said. But look at when he turns this thing. is a beast. Let's a ferocious GPU. You got that right, bruh. It is a beast. Uh, 36 shader, uh, T flops, okay, 285 tensor cores. <laughs> they call it the BF GPU. What big effing graphics processing unit? Oh my god. 24 gigs of GDDR6X, we all knew that. I think most of the leaks leading up to this reveal were pointing somewhere between 13 to 1400 dollars and 2000. So 1500 is kind of like smack dab in the middle. That's what we expected. And it's coming out September 24th. But look at the, the thickness, the thickness of this. What is that? What is that? Oh my, how many inches thick is that thing? Do we have dimensions somewhere? God, please release like an official spec sheet for this thing. There may be one out there now, but look at how thick that is. Holy good Lord. So if we look at my current case right now, let's turn this light on here point it into my case so we have a little bit better visibility. I have the 2080 Super right here, you can see, and it's not really that thick at all. You're talking like an inch and a half, maybe. And I have plenty of room. Like I said, this is a, a mid-sized chassis. So I have plenty of room in terms of depth. I have plenty of room in terms of length. The only thing that scares me is you see this bracket right here. Now, the 3090 obviously is going to be a lot longer than the 2080 Super. So if the 3090 is out to here, I'm hoping that it doesn't bump up against this bracket. I don't think it will. It looks like the 2080 Super is just inside of this bracket because I can put my finger up against the bracket and then I can touch the outside of the 2080 Super. So I think that the 3090 would just move right past this bracket and stick out like somewhere like right here, which is fine. And then in terms of thickness, I shouldn't have any problem. The only problem I see is that it's gonna cover up these PCI lanes right here. It's gonna be like down to here. It's so fat and so thick. It's absolutely unbelievable. But assuming that it can get past this bracket, I should have enough room. But I gotta say, this thing is so thick. I mean, holy mother. And of course, RTX on DLSS, it can do 8K60, it can do, it has an AV1 uh, decode, and it can do HDMI 2.1. So thank God that the next gen GPUs are 2.1. We all expected them to be 2.1, but you know, we weren't certain until there was a release. So it's 2.1. They didn't say what the 3080 and 3070 would be in terms of HDMI spec, but I too have to imagine that those are 2.1. So pairing up a 3080 or a 3090, with an HDMI 2.1 out into an LG OLED with a 2.1 in is gonna be glorious. You can do 4K 120, you can do high dynamic range, you can do chroma subsampling 444, you finally have enough bandwidth to do all of those things with the HDMI 2.1 out. Glorious! I wanted them to just make a quick video with my reaction to the sheer thickness. I mean, look, look at the thickness of this thing. My God. Um, Anyway, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Are you gonna buy this 3090? Is it even going to fit in your damn tower? Uh, do we need to have gargantuan large chassis in order for this to fit? It is a distinct possibility. And not only that, but once you put the, once you unbox this 3090 and you just set it on your desk before you even put it in your CPU, you know what it's, it's gonna look up at you and it's gonna say, 
where is your PSU and how much power does it have? Because it's going to absolutely devour the piss out of your power supply unit. Hopefully you have at least an 850 watt power supply because that's what NVIDIA is recommending for these new generation of GPUs. I myself have a 1200 watt EVGA uh, platinum rated power supply, so I don't anticipate there'll be any problems there. If there are problems there, then we got more problems than just the power supply. These GPUs are ridiculous. Uh, I imagine if I do get the 3090 and I plug it in, the second I flick on my PC, the lights in the house are just gonna dim. And I can imagine my wife just running around the corner saying, what the F? have you done now? We're going to have like a $240 electricity bill. Oh my goodness. Anyway, <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. That is going to do it for me. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and we will see you guys soon. Later.